Why a Sibanjo Tunembu should drop presidential ambition? Ohanese, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Apex Sibo Social Cultural Organization Ohanese and Dibu worldwide on Friday said it will not support the presidential ambition of the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. Apex Sibwe Social Cultural Organization Ohane Zendibu Worldwide on Friday said it will not support the presidential ambition of Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and of Progressive Congress National Leader Bola Tenembu. Ohane National Publicity Secretary Chief Alex Obonia, who stated this in an interview with The Punch, emphasized that it was the turn of the Southeast to produce Nigerian ex president and not the Southwest. He added that separatist agitation would increase in the southeast if the zone does not produce the next president. Obonya urged that both Osibanjo and Tenebu to drop their 2023 ambition and back the competent aspirant from the southeast to emerge the next president of a country after the eight year regime of the incumbent Major General Muhammad Buhari retired on May 29, 2023. With less than a year to the next general elections, the politics of zoning has dominated public discourse with prominent southern elements and political parties demanding power shift to the southern region after Buhari, who is from Castina in Nigeria's bandit within northwest. Tenembo, former governor of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007, had in January 2022 declared his intention to fulfill his lifelong ambition of becoming a president in 2023, while Usibanjo had last week said he want, he would want to succeed his principal, Buhari, to complete what they both started together. Both politicians belong to the really no Progressives Congress and be a former political associate as Usibanjo had served as Attorney General, as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice on that time before eight years from 1999 to 2007. Tenembo had also reportedly nominated Osi Banjo as Buhari's running mate in the run up to the 2015 election to avoid a Muslim Muslim presidential ticket. Speaking with the punch on Friday, however, Ohanese said it was not a turn of a Southwest to produce the next president, both the Southeast. Adding that both the Southwest and the South South had produced presidents and vice presidents since the beginning of the Fourth Republic in 1999. Ohanese spokesman Obonia said, I had written an open letter to Tunembo before, which I'm sure he must have read, reminding him of, at a point he had been the conscience of a nation with a straightful disposition. But in recent times, because of his ambition, he has chosen not to even talk when things are so bad. In the past, Tunibu would talk about equity, justice and fairness, but in recent times, Tunibu has chosen to become an entirely different person. I advise him that he should not contest, he should rather stand as an elder statesman in Nigeria. Above all, there is a zoning and rotation principle in Nigeria, and it's a turn of a southeast. Then on the side of Osibanjo, he has a very tall credential, having occupied the position of the vice president. He is supposed to be an elder statesman. His profile is at variance with the decision he has taken to contest for the presidential slot because he knows that it is not a turn of a southwest. He has shown he has the interest of himself more than the interest of a nation. When asked whether Hanese would support Tunembu, Usibanjo, or any other spirit from the southwest, Obonia said, No way. He noted that the other statesmen like former President Olusegun Obasanjo, Afe Nifero leader Ayo Odebanjo, amongst others, have been clear that the Southeast should produce the next president in the spirit of fairness and equity. People like Obasanjo, Bari George, and Odebanjo have been clear about it. These are exemplary men, and we are asking for more men to support the Southeastern presidency, he added. Continuing, the spokesperson for the South East Group says the British agitation might increase in the zone if it does not produce the next president. What Ohanese is saying is that 
If this presidency does not come to the southeast, definitely there will be more aggressiveness and separatist agitation in the southeast. It will increase insecurity and it is not in the interest of everybody, of anybody who loves the interest of this country. It is a stand of Ohanese that of Sibanjo and Tenebu should add voice to the presidency coming to the southeast and not begin to pursue personal interest, he added. So far, People's Democratic Party, PDP, presidential aspirant from the southeast include former Anambra governor, Peter B, former secretary to the government of the Federation, Pius Anyam, former president of Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Sam Ohabunwa, and chairman, Igbo World Assembly, Mwachiku Anakweze. Southeast politicians who have expressed interest at the top job on the APC platform also include Governor of Ebony State, Dave Omahim, former Governor of Yuma State, Rocha Sukorocha, as well as former Governor of Abia State and Majority Whip of the Senate, Senator Ojius Okano. Well, this is... This is... um where i can now come in and say eh, hey if people are not coming out to say eh, we'll see and eh, Tunubu, you people should do this i'll not say yes two of them are not supposed to come out to i'll not say okay it is this line in the spirit of equity fairness and justice there is one man that's continued to amaze me what am i saying a lot of them the so-called people that when they come out you know people talk down eh, you people are also among yes Look, let me even start from this fact. Those people who are voting for Tunumbo, Tunumbo did this, Tunumbo did that. You can clearly see in this particular article that the person said Tunumbo was once upon a time someone who you can see when you see him, if democracy was a person, you will see democracy. He's somebody who spoke up when things were wrong. He's somebody who come out and say no in the face of injustice. This is not right. In the face of unfairness, this is not fair. In the face of nepotism, this is not okay. But unfortunately, the man stopped. And we say, I get and before, no be property. I used to behave like this. It's not part of now. How do you used to behave now? The man is now, his silence is disturbing over our national issues. Rather, he's going around donating money when he's supposed to be coming out, screaming on top of his lungs, saying, look, there is, there is, there is, um, Blood, the bloodletting in Nigeria. Nigeria is going on a killing spree and something should be done to stop it. We don't need to wanna be somebody who will be a democratic, a democratic leader or somebody who is fair, who will be fair. We need somebody who right now, his character and even before his character speaks of fairness, equity and justice. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.